What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Dark Parables, Goldilocks, and the Fallen Star, Collector's Edition. Last episode, I finished the bonus game, The Golden Slumber. Uh, essentially, sometime after the event of Six, which was Jack in the Sky Kingdom, and before this game took place, when Lita had, like, ran off and went do whatever, apparently she came across Jack and Emma, and when Emma reached out to help her, she touched her hand, got turned to gold. Which explains why Jack was in the kingdom, uh, getting the fallen star, and then, again, afterwards when that didn't work, to look for the golden child. Which she was also looking for, because the golden child is a person born with, like, born in, like, a certain astronomical, or astrological event that bestows them like certain magical powers one being able to sense magic from a person or an object and has the ability to negate magic regardless of its origin so through I think use of like their tears or something so they can easily have used their tears and like gotten rid of her golden touch But into fixing all that shit because um, apparently uh, when she did the whole wishing thing, you know, to turn everything back to normal, she only wished for to get rid of her golden touch and to undo the harm she did to the people of Barja. Emma was actually beyond the kingdom's borders, so she wasn't affected by, so she remained gold. That really sucked for that. Achievements. I think I have just about all of them except for like one or two. Yeah, rank chaser, achieve gold medals on all the hops, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. Actually, still right here, I got extra stuff so I didn't do. I think I couldn't look at. Was it this one? I. No, that one's done. I'm wondering if I didn't pick them up in a certain one, if I can go back and get them, I don't know. And then bonus video, which I didn't look at. Making the Queen. thing, but that kind of pointless. Okay, so this is probably going to be just like... Whatchamacallit. And do them in like a certain amount of time. And or... Um, not a certain amount of time, but like... Actually, yeah, I guess it would be based on speed. Oh, damn, 12 seconds. Based on speed and accuracy. You get like a score. Not really sure how the scoring system is in this one. Because it was like, I think, like gold, silver, and bronze rating. But I'm not sure how that translates into this new game. Maybe like this might be gold or silver or bronze. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and test that. I wanna see something. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up on purpose. And then do it. See if that's okay. So I can see 19, so I'm not really sure what that translates into. Blue, I guess. I don't. I don't know.
I can do it the correct way. Seconds. Yay. So basically, you just have to do this for all of them. Which, like I said, you know, or from my previous one, that I don't think you have to actually get, um, you know, 100% accuracy or a quick time like that, but oh, wow, these are crunching very loudly, echoing on my headphones. I'm so hungry right now. Like I said, the score you get is based on speed and accuracy. I mean, sure, you know, you can get it, you know, I could be doing them a lot quicker than that. If I, if I set it to easy mode to where I don't get penalties for it and I just click randomly, you know, to do it like crazy, I can get like half the time for it. But if my accuracy is going to be knocked down to like, you know, 20, 30 percent, then it won't really make a difference. But then if I sit there and take my time, well, how many do I have? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Okay. I fish what four in like less than a minute. You know, but if like you know. If I sit there and take my time doing it all, yeah, I'll have 100% accuracy, but if I take like a minute or more to do it, then it's not worth it. So you try to get like a balance between speed and accuracy. But if I'm already going to go for 100%, you know, doing this, that I might as well, you know? Wow, that is super loud. Oh, right there in front. But I clicked that one. Okay, that one took a little long. Some of these are still kind of fresh-ish in my mind.
I'll just click on that. So still not bad, like under 20 seconds. I mean, of course, I'm, you know, I'm no expert at this. Shit, fucked up already. Like, that one I actually had tr not trouble with, but... Like, it was always, like, this section that I had, like, issues with trying to, you know, click on. And that is what it's. It's 12 already? Okay. I know this one I did not like. I just did not like this one at all. I can't remember what half this crap's called. Like ornate ship key or something like that. Keep one. I keep thinking that's one. I kept doing it for the other, for the actual game. Like the heart arrow or something. Some dumb shit like that. I think I fucked up. Four more left after this one. That's not too bad, you know. Did those four in about a minute. Did 
like a minute and something, like a minute and 15. Did that in a little over a minute, by two minutes. <clears throat> Was that like freaking busted balalaika balalaika whatever the crap that thing's called that loot looking thing I don't know why they didn't just call it loot And again, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Balalaika, Balalaika. The loot-ish instrument. Instrumente. It's a lizard. Count towards accuracy. Okay, I guess not. Alright, I guess I might as well go ahead and just give the notice no. Cause I'll be pretty much done with this game after this. Oop, this for no, that's a frog. Come on. Oh shit, I'm getting sleepy. Oh shit, I missed. So yeah, it still counts towards gold, but I got like 18 out of freaking 20, you know, max out of 100. But as I was saying, um, I completely lost my freaking train of thought now. Oh, that pretty much. Oh, that pretty much calls it it for this okay give me that give me that give me that and that no they calls you know for this no please remember to like comment god damn it what the hell one more time no, that pretty much calls it for this game after the next two puzzles. Yay. No, please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe to my videos and my channels if you like what you see. You can if you want to, if not, that's fine too. Um, yeah, that was like super freaking easy, because everything sticks out. That to end this. Um, I'm still taking requests for games. Oh, you piece of... I don't know what the hell I missed that time. I am still taking requests for certain games for the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega, um, PlayStation, N64, whatnot. So just drop me a line if there's like a certain game you want me to test out, and I'll look into it. Let's see if it's something I like doing. Could it, oh, you got... Mm. I'm gonna get this crap.
Um, the only thing is I will not do first person shooters. And uh, things like that, like no Call of Duty, Gears of War, uh, Black Ops, things like that. I will do some older ones like Doom. Uh, like the, uh, or the Doom knockoffs like Hexen and things like that. And I will do the 007 games like GoldenEye, World Is Not Enough, Tomorrow Never Dies, things like that. But like the newer stuff, I probably won't. If anything, I may do Skyrim. Because I really like that game. I didn't touch any of the other ones, but I, I did get Skyrim, and I did like that one a lot. So if anything, I may do that first-person one. Alrighty, there's everything. All the hops are done at a hundred percent. All the collectibles are gotten. Achievements should now be filled up. Alrighty then. That's done. So like I said, so just drop me a line if there's like a certain game you want me to try out. I'll look into it and if it's something that I'm going to play, then I'll go ahead and do that game. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to stop doing Dark Parables and work on another game that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I just couldn't because I was trying to get these done. I'm not going to say what game it is, but it's actually one of my favorites. Like, I, for that system, I would say it would be my favorite. Just because I had so much fun playing it. Like, especially when it came out when it did. It was just so freaking awesome. And even now, I still crank it out every once in a while when I feel like playing it. So I'm going to share that with you guys. Okay, so there is... See, is that... Yeah, that should be it now. The end of Dark Parables, Goldilocks and the Fallen Star Collector's Edition has been completed. Everything done. 100% everything. I will never have to touch this game again. Unless I just get bored or something. So, um, uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to start that other game. Hopefully within the next day or so. So just look for it when it comes out. So as always, this is Save Night, and I will see y'all next game. Later, guys.